Hi guys, it's your girl Josephine Favor Roberts with Life with the Roberts. I want to tell you thank you for commenting, thank you for liking, and thank you for subscribing. So guys, in today's video, first of all, I have to find time to come up with a video because I know I think my last video was two weeks ago. And I've been trying to find time to do a video, but things has been a little bit hectic. So I, if you see me in a different location, I just find time to do this video. So uh, in the end of the video, I will get back to the topic to tell you where we are now, because I think the last video you saw, we were searching for our ties for our Clay Ashland property. So I will let you know how far we are with that. But uh, that's not why I'm here today. The reason for this video today is I've always been thinking about this topic and I wanted to come and share what's on my mind or my ideas or my thoughts and then leave it up to you guys in the comment section so you can also tell me what you think too because you know they said two hairs is better than one and I believe if I share what's on my mind and you share what's on your mind then we can both learn from each other so the topic I chose to talk about today is, I think you see from the caption of the video, the titles, it says, is this enough? What do I mean by, is this enough? I think you seen on the, the topic, you seen our building, you know? Is, is that enough? What do I mean by, if that's enough? Now, if you see me looking down, remember what I always say, I write notes because I just don't want to take stuff from my head. So I always outline it before I come and discuss it. So what do I mean by, is this enough? By building a house in Liberia, do it solve your problems? And when I say that, like I said, it's, that goes to us too, you know, everybody that are doing projects back home, not just house, it can be, apartment it can be anything you know way back way way back you know we used to think that uh once your house is complete in liberia you are ready to go is that the case i don't think to, i don't think so so what do i mean by building a house in liberia do it solve your problems financially what do i mean you build your house, you make it comfortable, you put all the necessary things in it. You know where most of us that are doing projects back home were outside Liberia. So once you do all of that, put all the necessary things, I think from you guys have seen in our previous videos, is that enough, is that it? Because my reason for this discussion is, I want us to interact. What do you think, my subscribers, what do you think we can do to make us financially stable in Liberia, apart from when we build our house? You know, what can we do? Because from what I've been observing, yes, you build a house. Yes, you make it comfortable. Yes, you put all the necessary things in it that you need, that we are used to doing since we live outside the country. But that's not enough. We need something that will make us financially stable. We need a stable income. So here are some things that I thought about that could help us, you know, to be financially stable in Liberia. One could be, you could start a business, you know, and then in starting a business, we all have noticed, like we have business going on there you know but you gotta be there another thing you could uh rent a property maybe you can build a house or apartment or entertainment area or or airbnb anything you want to do just to have little cash coming in your pocket that's a way for you to be financially stable but then being a uh, being involved in the things in Liberia, even we have noticed from different, 
YouTuber on YouTube or experiences that we have had by going to the country or living there, those that are starting businesses or opening a uh, resort or store or renting property, it is not doing so well. You know why? Because the economy, now this economy, things is difficult everywhere, don't get me wrong. But I'm talking about specifically Liberia. You know, because the people in Liberia, like I, I've noticed and I had this discussion with families and friends, you know, the the businesses in Liberia, mainly when it comes to uh, when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to uh, the resorts, when it comes to stores. When it comes to commercial, like when you build your house or you want to rent it, you don't get so much money because a lot of people in the country are unemployed. Or even if you get them to, to, to come to your business or rent your property, you are still not getting enough money. Typical example, like some days when we, when we go to Liberia and we're there, maybe i think a lot of you have had this experience where it might be you and your family you say hey let's go to it can be tropicana it can be libasa it can be different 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 places in the country it can even be maroon chicken it can be creamery you just randomly say you know i just want to take my family out let's go there like I think there was a video that I did when me and my family went to uh, River View. But when you go there that day, it's probably just you or a couple of other people in the resort or in the restaurant because of the economy in the country. And then there's so many people that are not employed. So, so those businesses are typically living from in, in the librarian setting we call it from hand to mouth you know so for those reasons those businesses are not doing well now we the diaspora we that are building our property in the country we want to start business we want to rent our home we want to rent our stores yes for some of us we are already doing that but it is still not enough because you can you will build this your property or open this your business and whatever price you want to rent it you cannot get that because the people in the country cannot afford those things typical example for 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 properties that we have in bicano you cannot even get somebody to pay close to even a hundred dollars or 120 or 150 per month in Bicano because the the clients always say oh there is no factories here so there are no jobs here so you're basically renting your two bedroom for less than a hundred dollars even to stores that you may have there compared to different places where people get 150 200 300 for stores but to certain places in Bicano, you're getting less. So I look at people that, that think that, oh, you know, you can, you build your house in the country. Yes, I encourage all of us, let us keep focused and build what we want to build. But we also should not think that just because you build your house and put all the necessary things in it, it means that that is enough for you or that means if you leave here and go to liberia then you're okay which it is not we still need more and when i say more for 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 different people some people have different things that they need for us we don't need more but with the little that we have there if more people in the country were employed I believe I will be ready to go back home right now. But because of a lot of people that are unemployed, it makes it difficult for you to just pack your bag and say, hey, let's head back to Africa. You know?
so i just wanted for us to to discuss this what do you think that we that are outside that are building our property back home what can we really do to make sure that we can have a secure income in liberia it can be some people there is different kind of things we all can do but i think either way no matter what kind of business you start it might be your ice cream shop it might be your gas station it might be airbnb it might be you're building a house or hall to rent it it might be opening up a, a resort or whatever until the economy is okay and there is a lot of people employed we're all gonna get hit with this thing no matter what we do in the country there is always going to be shortage when it comes to our income so let's have this discussion i don't want this video to be too long so let me know what do you think about what i said by you building a house in the country putting what all the necessary things in it is it enough and and if it's not even though we have established some people have care care running some people have motorbikes running some people have taxis some people have those big trucks i mean there is different things that i've seen a whole lot of people have started but even though we have started that thing we're still not getting the necessary thing that we need or the necessary amount that we need to transition from here to africa which that's the reason why you see most of the africans or liberians that want to move back they are still here and then you get this saying from people on social media or they'll say oh why if you know you don't plan on moving back to liberia don't build this big house or don't build a house who told you guys that we don't want to move back whoever said that who in their right frame of mind will sit in this country, work all those hours, send thousands of dollars to Liberia to build property because they don't want to go? Whoever said that? That would be my next topic. Because believe it or not, we all want to go back. But you know, it's like when you're pregnant, you have the baby, the baby has to they say the baby will crawl before the baby can walk so i look at it like there's there are certain things people are doing some people are like okay my house is done let me find something that will give me income there before i go some people look at it like okay well maybe i tried this one and it didn't work let me try another one so that's saying that go that people will be like oh stop building property if you don't want to come back to africa we all want to come back. That's the reason why we're doing it in the first place. <laughs> we, that's the reason why. That's the reason we decided to build or invest in our country. Because we want to come back. That's the reason. Now, some of us might take five years to come back. Some 10, some 15, whatever. Because everybody has different dreams that they're working on. So, don't you guys think that because we're building we're just wasting money we don't want to go we do but like i'm sick like i said some people are taking their time some have done it before and whatever maybe they went to the left and it didn't work now they're going to the right so i just wanted to tell you guys that would that would be the next topic that i talk about so to conclude like i said let me know in the comment section about what you think by building a house in africa in liberia putting everything you needed it is it enough and then if it's not enough what can you do to make sure you have a secure income in the country there are different businesses you can do or different things you can do which some of us of all of us were doing that but we need to make sure there are more in people more people employed in the country that is the only way we are going to be financially stable because right now half of the businesses are struggling half of the businesses are struggling in the country so let us keep hoping that this new government will do something more and employ more people so 
There can be more people who can go to Libasa instead of just one family going there. There can be more people who can rent our property and pay good money so we can hurry up and get out of here. So I told you guys that uh, I was just gonna do a little check in on our current work that we're doing. I know you guys seen the last video where uh, we were searching for tiles and I think I showed you guys the one we pick and the work have started there. But I will show you in the next video after this one how difficult it is just to get materials on that side because I think I showed you in the video before our bridge has been damaged. I don't know for how long. Now they said they, they fixed a temporary bridge. I have the new video I'm gonna show you and I can tell you that is 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 not good already from the look of it you know so things is very very difficult for us it's very very hard for us to get material from from uh simple bridge to the uh clay ashland area where we are working on our current property but nevertheless you know what they say in the bible we've been indoor through the night but joy cometh in the morning so we're gonna keep pushing because no matter what we're going to complete this project no matter the road or the condition because right now just for us to transfer anything there we're paying over a hundred and some more dollars but we're going to keep our hairs up because whenever we say we're going to do stuff we stick to it so as you watch this video let me know in the comment section guys please remember to like comment and subscribe and then when you're watching the video there will be a little button there that have the money sign the dollar sign and it have things on it if there is anything you want to donate to the channel you could and also that you guys can join my uh channel membership because guys it is not easy to to do this video like i said i've been looking for time to do it but my schedule has been tight and then we all can learn i can learn from you you can learn from me so remember to like comment and subscribe and remember all i always say god time is the best stay blessed until the next video bye